In this video, we'll be talking about graphing the motion of our friend, the American Kestrel. Let's start with the graph for displacement. This would be a position versus time graph. If the Kestrel is sitting on a branch, how do we describe this? We would say that it sits at 10 meters constantly. There is no change in position. If that is so, then there is no change in velocity. So the Kestrel is not moving at this time and is at rest. So we get a horizontal line where the slope is zero and velocity is therefore zero. What does a straight line mean for a position versus time graph? As you can see, the position is changing. That means velocity can't be zero. In fact, it is constant. And we can find the slope of the line using any two points on the graph. We can get this using our formula of rise over run. This will basically be the formula for velocity, which is the change in displacement over the change in time. What does a curve mean? It's not a straight line anymore, which means position and velocity is changing. If velocity is changing, then the object is accelerating. For this to happen, velocity would be changing in magnitude and direction. You see what I mean when we talk about the velocity graph. So now, for a velocity versus time graph, we said that when an object is at rest, displacement is a constant line and velocity is zero. So this is how it looks like. Zero velocity. Now, if velocity is constant, then the displacement graph is a straight line. So this is how the velocity graph looks like. The Kestrel is flying at a constant velocity at 25 meters per second and we get a horizontal line. Now let's compare this with the acceleration graph. So if velocity is changing, acceleration would be constant, let's say at 10 meters per second squared. So it's a horizontal line. So acceleration will continue to be constant until the Castro changes direction or magnitude again. So now let's have a brief quiz. Suppose you get a graph similar to this one. Can you interpret it? You can pause the video here and think about it for a moment. So at these points where the slope is increasing, this means velocity is changing in the positive direction. And if velocity is changing, then we know that acceleration will be constant at this point. Now, when we have a horizontal slope, velocity will be constant, which means that acceleration will be zero at this point. How about this? Velocity is changing here as well, but it's in a negative direction. Remember that we said velocity is a vector, which has magnitude and direction. So this is the last video for now about the Castro's motion. I hope that you found this helpful.